What's up amazing amazing viewers number 2 nianze 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 so nianze in, in uh kiswahili is let start so we started and this is israel vibrations uh it's a sister shop to decibel audio kenya and you guys are welcome another video i promise you guys is videos after videos after videos the previous video was about frequencies matching frequencies and achieving a sweet clean clear sound that is powerful and that is balanced now today we want to see how to power those frequencies how do you power those frequencies what equipments do you use how do you match up to be able to produce that because what ha what, uh, what really happens let me give you a lesson first before i show you all these things eh? so this is what i'm going to show you mixers and amplifiers and stuff eh? jen can you see them mama you're just focus focusing so those things eh? all right so that was a by the way so let's talk about frequencies what really what really, how do you really match up these things and what really happens when you do a mismatch what happens when your speakers are louder than they are they are the the source which is the power so when the power has limits or it's limited and the speakers are demanding more what happens boni what happens you know what happens distortion occurs isn't it? yeah so distortion automatically occurs because the amplifier or the mixer is not able to match up to the power required or that is being required by the speaker so the speakers are 2000 watts you amplify is 1000 watts so amplifier is normally a slave so what is a slave a slave is somebody or something that works and works it will not stop it has no right to stop it only stops when it's told to stop so normally when you overwork it it tries to overwork so when you try to overwork normally they are operating under a current called the ac current so that is a normal operating um, current but when you overwork them they now force and switch to something called a dc current so a dc current is very dangerous and it brings distortions brings brings uh clipping and knock that clipping blows your speaker might also blow your uh mixers and amplifiers as well so how do we match these things what is the demand so let me tell you now practically highest frequencies demand very little power high frequencies demand very little power that's why you will hear tweeters have 200 watts 150 watts 50 watts the biggest switcher maybe you're going to, to, to get is maximum maybe 350 400 or even 500 at most but when, when you talk about ground shakers ground shakers have 3400 watts so that means that automatically that speaker demands double power from the amplifier all right so if a speaker is demanding 2000 make sure the amplifier is at least 4000 watts double the power that means even if it goes berserk crazy and demands maximum from itself the server which is the amplifier is able to match up to that one so high frequencies demand not a lot of power mid frequencies now follow in that sequence low mid and then finally the low of the low frequencies demand big amplifiers so if you're using two speakers for example two mid-range speakers you don't necessarily have to use a power amplifier because a power amplifier well you can depending with the wattage but you can also have a selection of so many mixers that have up to 2000 watts 2400 watts and you know a speaker normally a mid-range like i've shown you in the previous video they will range from 600 watts to 1200 watts so if you have a, a mixer that's giving you 2400 watts comfortably four speakers will be run by that powered mixer and you're going to do the job because the work of a mid-range speakers and listen to me clearly the work of a mid-range speakers is not to produce low frequencies so those people who say speaking with midday to a base is not supposed to give you base if you want base you get low end frequencies so without further ado let me show you how you can be able to match those speakers so come with me if you have two speakers that are 12 inches 350 watts and you just want to do activations and you want to do simple projects here at isel vibrations we have a mixer called the HY product. It's a two channel left and right, and the wattage is around a thousand watts. So if you have two speakers, 500, 500 watts, you're going to serve with this particular mixer. 40,000 Kenyan shillings only. If you have four speakers, we have all these mixers that you see over here. These ones are called the Soundcraft, the KV120, and the KV80s. These one have 2,200 watts. From 25,000 onwards, you can get these particular mixers. So these are plain mixers. I'll show you plain mixers next time, but just so that you know we have Beringa X32, uh, powered by Midas, we have it. We also have our own easel vibrations. We have Midas 32, we have XA18, we have all these Beringa digital mixers, but that's a business for another day. So if you're looking for mixers that has case, we also have them right over here to be able to serve your, your mid-range speakers. So all these mixers that you see over here, 
All these ones will serve your mid-range speakers perfectly, two, four, sometimes even six, depending on the power that you have. But now the business for today is about amplifiers. So come with me. Let me show you what we have right over here. So we have an amazing rack over here that has plenty of amplifiers. So I will start with the smallest of them that's called the DA4000. Smallest that's because it has 4000 watts. So 4000 watts can comfortably drive six mid-range speakers. So if you have these type of speakers that you see on top over here, mid-range speakers that are is single speaker and a drive uh, Twitter. Six of them from this particular one. Or even if you have four full-range speakers. So four full-range speakers are those tall boys that you see over here. Four of them can easily be driven by, by this particular amplifier because it's 4,000 watts. And as we've seen, the full-range speakers, what's the, the wattage? Let's look at one. So this one is uh, it's called Max 8. So I'm looking for 815. It's 1,000 watts. So 1,000 watts and the amplifier is uh, 4,000 watts. Then you can comfortably drive four of them, two per channel, all right? Perfectly. Then we have, so for your mid-range speakers, we have this particular one. We also have the QSC 4050. Oh, no, 2450 can do the same job very good for mid-range speakers and then for the full range speakers if you have many of them over eight or you have many mid-range speakers we have the da8000 90,000 kenyan shillings that one can drive even eight full range speakers so if you're doing campaign crusades that is the way to go if you want to drive many full range speakers because now there's something called the ohms ohms i'll teach you some other day but the more the ohms drop, and what makes ohms uh, drop? When you loop speakers on, when you do speakers in a parallel form, then you are decreasing the ohms of that operation. And when you, re you reduce the ohms, most of these amplifiers have been made to operate under two ohms maximums. If you go below two ohms, then you end up risking blowing because the transistors are going to start heating, the capacitors will blow and all this stuff, and you're going to end up blowing your amplifier. So you need to know that if you have many speakers, you are advised to go for multiple channel amplifiers that have at least four channels to be able to distribute uh, the speakers. All right? So for those people who have low speakers, bass speakers, your solution is right over here. You either go for P95 if you are doing low frequencies. This can drive four of them. And for only 58,000, you get this amplifier. So for those people who want now heavy and you are doing Four bass speakers, six bass speakers. Listen to me. CA38 plus. A whopping 60 transistors. So 60 transistors, 20 capacitors, a massive big toroido. CA38, CA60. Those ones will drive from four to six depending on the wattage of your, of your bass speakers. And for those people who have speakers like the PD1890, the, P, the Black Spider 1895, 152 millimeter, 3,400 watts, you want to drive four to six speakers. Behold, DA... 10,000, the biggest amplifier that we have in the market right now. DA10,000 can drive six clean <coughs> of the heavy low-end frequencies, the ground shaker. That's the biggest. CA60 can drive four, CA38 can drive four, and sometimes when you're doing or when you're working indoors, you can even be able to do six of them. So when you do that, then you're going to have clean, clear sound because you have matched your power. So apart from that, have a good mixer if you're using the power amp system. Have a good plain mixer that has plenty of outputs and has very clean frequencies. Then, if you are fond, uh, if you are um, fond of using equalizers and, and uh, crossovers, we have amazing BNKs or X series X system equalizers that will be followed by your crossovers and then finally into your amplifiers. Or if you've become digital now, you can use the the drive rack that you have over here. That's called Sound Standard. The PA260, this one has plenty of features. So this one is a combination of crossover, equalizer, feedback destroyer, um, compressor, and all these things in one unit. But you need to at least be aware of how it works before you operate. So that is how you match up, and that's the information that you need if you want to match up your frequencies to your speakers. So ladies and gentlemen, Karibu Sano, thank you so much. This is Decibel Audio. Actually, this is Israel Vibration. Jen is just doing like this. This is Israel Vibration. Where are we located? The junction of Lutuli, Avon, and Kamai Road. Our numbers will put them there. So Israel Vibrations. But for YouTube people, it's still Decibel. Israel Vibrations is a, a newborn child birthed from Decibel Audio. But today we are doing the video from this beautiful shop. And we have beautiful people. We have Rage over here shooting with the camera. It's called Rage. We have Jane that's using the phone for TikTok people right over there. Uh, we have Boni, our manager, right over here, the tall guy. So that's our, our manager. He's called Boni. Any day you come here, 
he will sort you out. Wanga is also here. She's counting money. We have a lot of money. We are doing plenty of sales. Don't show them. They can come for us. But thank you for your support. Wanga is our salesperson as well, our cashier here as well. And we have other people there. We have Akina Boni, Akina, Akina Nancy. All of them are working at this shop. And we have amazing, amazing products. You guys are welcome. Karibuni Sana, welcome so much to Israel Vibration, Decibel Audio Kenya. And you guys are blessing to us. Subscribe, YouTube people, begin the subscribe buttons there. Press them, share, comment, and stuff. For people on TikTok, continue watching us and continue giving us the support. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, wonderful day from wherever you're watching us from. Sawa kabisa. Thank you.